you can now stake your ETH on MetaMask. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video without getting scammed. So I'm gonna show you how to do it safely. We're gonna go over some alternatives and if it's actually worth it. Because if you don't have a lot of ETH, those gas fees might eat up all the rewards you would have gotten over the next year or more than that. So we'll, we'll, we'll make sense of things. And as for introductions, I'm Dan. I make crypto content that is very easy to understand. So you understand what you're getting into, especially if you're new to crypto. Yeah, it's confusing. And I'm gonna break it down into some simple steps. And today we'll be staking ETH. If you're long on ETH, it makes sense to get rewarded for that. And there are multiple platforms to do it. I really like MetaMask for the decentralized solution, but it can be a little complicated and it might not make sense in certain situations. So let's get started. What are the risks of using MetaMask staking? So we're gonna go into their risk disclosures because nothing is no risk when it comes to crypto. So first off, third party software. MetaMask isn't responsible for the failure of a third party service because they are using a third party service and that's Lido and Rocket Pool. So if something goes wrong with Lido or Rocket Pool, MetaMask isn't responsible. They, they don't want any responsibility. MetaMask is just providing an easy way for you to stake your ETH through some trusted services. So they have partnered up to make this happen. Security, by electing to use this offering, you are interacting with smart contracts, which involves the risk that the code contains bugs or a security vulnerability. So you are interacting with these smart contracts online to stake your ETH and have that represented, but uh, sometimes there's hacks. And if there's a hack with Rocket Pool or Lido, and then those funds are gone, MetaMask isn't responsible. So that is an absolute risk. We've seen that in DeFi, decentralized finance. We've seen that in CeFi with the centralized uh, lending and staking providers. So they don't want any responsibility. Once again, it's just a service. Price. Through this offering, you may purchase, trade, or come into possession of digital tokens that may fluctuate greatly. So if the price of the coins change over time, they're not responsible. That's just something you should understand when getting involved in crypto. As you know, it's very volatile. And yeah, we kind of see that again with underlying blockchain risk, legal uncertainty, and risk with private keys. So whenever getting involved with staking, there is risk involved. So you have to weigh out those risks. And if you think it's worth it, then get involved. And a big thanks to MarginX for sponsoring this video. MarginX is a decentralized perpetuals trading exchange with a fully transparent on-chain order book and with fees much lower than Uniswap. If you want to get started with MarginX, there is a referral link in the description that will get you a free NFT. And I'm also giving away some premium MarginX NFTs. It is a sweepstakes. Details are in the description. And uh, yeah, you might want to check that out. So first off, you need MetaMask. I'm sure you already have it because you were looking for this video and you need Ethereum in your MetaMask account. So I'm gonna do this all on the computer here. We're gonna select the MetaMask icon. We get this pop-up. Then we wanna go to the portfolio site. So you wanna zoom in here and see portfolio site. This takes you to a website that uh, allows you to connect your account and that's where we'll be able to stake our Ethereum. So I have my account connected here. So on the left here, you see stake with this little plant growing icon. And we have two options here. Rocket Pool at the moment is at max capacity, which means you can't join it. And your other alternative is Lido staked ETH. So we can stake through Lido. That is the platform we're connecting to through MetaMask. And then this is actually liquid staking because we are trading our Ethereum for STETH. That's the staked ETH represented through Lido. So on the other side of this, Lido is doing all the technical stuff where they're staking all the ETH that we're sending to them. And in return, we get STETH. That represents our staked ETH, but is also still tradable. So that's a little bonus there. 
And then if you want more information, hit more info. And with this, your Ethereum isn't locked. It is always tradable. So you're gonna get ST ETH, and then you can trade that for ETH at any time. You can use any type of swapping site like KyberSwap, Uniswap, one inch to trade your staked ETH for regular ETH. And let's take a quick look. So right now we're in KyberSwap. It is an aggregator that searches all the exchanges out there and looks for the best rates. So we will always get the best deal possible. And there's a couple aggregators out there. So, you know, you got options. So I typed in STETH and you can see STETH by Lido. We're gonna select that. And if we traded them one Ethereum, we would get a little more than one Ethereum back. So that is less than 1% as a bonus. But yeah, you'd be able to trade your ETH for STETH. Now, this is just another option if you wanted to do that. But this video is about MetaMask. So we're going to stake through MetaMask. So I am going to stake through Lido in this MetaMask partnership. We're going to hit stake. You have my account information there. I only have 0.29 available. And you want to make sure it's worth it. So if I put in 0.1 ETH to stake, because, you know, there's no minimum, I would be getting in rewards yearly $7.95 at the current prices or 0.005 ETH monthly, a tenth of that. I know that doesn't really add up, but these are estimated rewards over time. So let's say yearly it's 0.005. That's closer to uh, 5% of what I'm putting in. But remember this number, 795. So that's how much I would be getting yearly for 0.1 ETH. If I review this transaction, the estimated gas fees are $8.77. So this doesn't make sense to do um, for my specific scenario. So if you are going to stake ETH, it should be an amount that covers the gas fees. So I'm going to wait over a year of staking and getting those rewards just to make up for the gas fees that I'm getting now. And when you claim those rewards or at least swap back, you can expect another similar fee to what we have here because we're just swapping between two different assets. Now for this video, I said it's a how to tutorial. So I'm just going to go through this anyway. I'm going to hit confirm. Our MetaMask confirmation pops up. The estimated gas fee is 0.003, and I would be getting 0.005 for the year. And then we can confirm the transaction, transaction submitted. And in just a moment, our 0.1 ETH is going to be 0.1 ST ETH. Just going to wait. Oh, there it is. And the transaction is complete. There was no cutting. So that happened very quickly. So we're going to hit view holdings. And at the bottom here, it shows our current balance, our ST ETH, Lido staked Ether, our accounts, the current balance, lifetime rewards, and the current reward. So we're getting close to 5%. That is going to vary over the next year. And that's basically how you stake your ETH with MetaMask. But for those that don't like paying gas fees, there are alternatives, and that's with centralized finance. Now, with the collapse of FTX, a lot of trust is gone from centralized exchanges, but the ones that survived that have been around for a while, I still trust them. And, you know, there is a limited amount of risk that you should take, so you never go all in on one platform. You always own some crypto yourself, at least in my opinion. And for the convenience, there are centralized exchanges. So we're going to take a look at a couple centralized exchanges where you can stake your Ethereum, where you're not paying those gas fees, and you might even be getting a better deal. So for staking, uh, I use a lot of different services. Coinbase is one of them if you're already on there. So I bought some ETH about $7 worth. And then we're going to go to my asset. We're going to scroll down to Ethereum. We're going to scroll down. We're going to see stake to earn up to 4.21% APY, which is not bad. So I'm going to hit stake now. You're about to stake your Ethereum to get Ethereum 2. Earn up to 4.21%. Selling and sending is restricted. That should be available after the March ETH Shanghai update. Wrap staked ETH to sell or send. I understand. 
and then you can stake all of it if you choose to. So you see this and you know, there's no fees to do this. So that's the benefit of wrapping and staking your ETH on Coinbase. But there are other platforms too, where you can actually buy Ethereum too at a discount. And one of those exchanges is KuCoin. So you can see here in the ETH2 ETH trading bear, you can get ETH2 at 0.9446. So you're getting about 5% off the market rate. And that will be redeemable for ETH after the update. So that's kind of an instant 5% gain, which you would have got for staking ETH for a year anyway. So... I see that as a fantastic deal if you were going to try something like that, um, but it's up to you. And Binance also has a two at a slight discount. You can get BETH, that's Beacon ETH, and that represents ETH 2.0 on Binance. So you can see the price per BETH is 1590 at the moment. Prices fluctuate. But then if we look at the ETH BUSD trading pair, it's 1608. So there is a slight discount there. The heaviest discount at the moment at 5% would be on KuCoin. Now I get referral links for everything. If you did want to sign up for something, there will be a spreadsheet full of exchange listings with uh, discounts for you to get your full value, which are available. The next day, me now different shirt different day it's the next day and we're gonna go to our staking rewards you can see that we have 0.02 cents and that's in usd now these rewards are not withdrawable at the moment because eth2 rewards can't be withdrawn until the eth shanghai update which is scheduled for march 2023 but since we do have a token that represents our staked eth st eth if we wanted to, we could trade that directly for Ethereum on some type of swap platform that we went over earlier. So you do have options if you want to get out of that staked position. Otherwise, we're already earning. And as for how much should you be earning when staking your ETH, which is also very important, we are getting 4.9%, at least that's a very high estimate. Uh, Rocket Pool is providing about 4.39%. And if we go to the official Ethereum website, you can see that they say the current APR for people staking is 4.8%. So we want to get as close to that as possible. Anything over 4% is decent. Anything less than that, look elsewhere. And by the way, with KuCoin, if you buy ETH2, those rewards just get rolled into your account daily and you get that compound interest. So that is a nice way to earn passive income. You don't have to restake any rewards from your Ethereum 2. It's automatic. And the same goes for Binance and BETH. That just means you hold BETH in your account. You get rewards daily, those compound. And it is a nice way of staking ETH but, you know, there are risks with centralized exchanges, of course. So understand that with anything centralized or decentralized, there are risks. And uh, that that's it. Sorry. If it collapses, that's a disclaimer. There, there's risks involved. So that's why this video is just a tutorial and not financial advice. You should always do what you think is best for you and understand that there's risks. So that is uh, the video, and I hope this was helpful. If it was, hit that like button. I appreciate it. And with that, I hope you got your full value for today.